don't even know how, how we're doing, doing three, three solos, solos and that big dance this week. We're leaving tomorrow morning. There's time for two solos. The only reason we're doing three is because Presley beat Brady. Mm -hmm. She didn't think that was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Right. So she can't not give Brady the solo, so now she exactly. has to do three. Well, that was my That's point. It. Presley should have been the second solo, but she was like the bonus throwing solo, even though she won against Brady. Why can't Brady have a solo too? If someone else would have had the third solo, no one else would be upset about it right now. I feel like you want Brady to fail. All right, we have a lot to do. So do we understand the story? It's about two girls that are in a relationship and they want to be allowed to go to their prom. It's a Broadway show. We're going to have three couples on stage. Giannina, go stand out there. Hannah, go on that side of her. Paris is a guy. We wanted two boy-girl couples so that this gay couple looks different. All right, so Lily, give me a big PK air mask and step out like this. Yes. Okay, let's try it. I just wanna dance with you. Let the whole world melt away. And I have these beautiful technical dancers here, but I wanted to push the kids. I wanted to do something different. A musical theater piece. Doesn't look hard, but it is. It's not about some amazing leap or some amazing new turn combination. When it's musical theater, you're showing off their face and their acting ability. And musical theater is cheesy, and I think sometimes if you're cheesy, it looks too easy. And that's what I'm afraid of about this national number. So Miss Abby said in the musical, it's about how the town comes together and loves everyone for who they really are. I think it's pretty courageous for Abby to do this for nationals because I don't think she's unaware that there's probably going to be people that don't agree with it to get negative backlash. That doesn't mean it's not worth doing. Right. Some people are going to be offended, but that's the message that we want to put out. I had to, as a mom, go through this with my son, my oldest son, not Brady. Everyone always, you know, asks Brady the question, wanting to know if Brady's gay. I mean, that's honestly the most asked question on social media Brady probably gets but um, my oldest son is. And I remember the day when he wanted to go on a date with just me. And we were sitting at the table eating and he got really upset. And I just remember looking at him thinking, what horrible thing was he about to tell me? Like, he got me really scared. And he's like, you know, I think I'm gay. And when he told me, I was kind of like, oh my God, is that it? Like, you know, and he was crying and he's like, you're not upset. I'm like, why would I be upset? You know, like, I love you for who you are. And once he told me, he was fine. Not everybody has a mom like that. Right. I just hope that when people see this dance, they remember that this happens in real life to real people. And it's okay. Like, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Jump up, swing her around, and you're like, ah, ah. Right, but the problem is you can't look at the floor, and that's what you're doing. I need there to be this connection between the two of you, and you should be, like, glaring into her eyes. There's, like, all these emotions going on, stirring between the two of you, and I don't see any of that happening. Doing musical theater in the biggest city in the world that's known Four. for Broadway and musical theater, this is a huge risk. Everyone there is going to be an expert at watching that type right. of dance. The judges are probably Broadway veterans. They have to be perfect if they're going to do that. Everyone knows contemporary lyrical, that's what we expect to win, but we're going to New York City with musical theater. Not only might we not win, we might leave embarrassed. <laughs>